Now's the time, Hotelmaster. Hey everybody, this is Mike and Lyons with SkylanderNuts.com. We're here today in bitterly cold temperatures. It's been below zero on most days. Uh, we got a lot of snow, so this all made me think of one specific Skylander who we have in our collection, and that is Torch. You like Torch? Yeah, because her shoots fire out of her gun. That's right, she shoots fire out of her gun. Now why do you think Torch would remind, our bitterly cold winter would remind me of Torch? Because well, fire beats snow. Fire does beat snow. In fact, when Torch was a little girl, she and her grandfather used to raise dragons that protected their village. Yep. But one day a snow dragon came and snow. buried the entire village in a blizzard. Blizzard? Yeah. And it yeah. it seems pretty cold. It, like that may be happening outside. Do you think we have a snow dragon creep? Causing all of our snow? No. No? I don't know. It might Maybe be. Maybe underground. Maybe underground? Yeah, I don't know. So, well, anyway, Torch, she was the only one who was able to escape her village. And she used her flamethrower to battle the conditions of the blizzard and to battle the snow dragon. And she defeated the snow dragon in an epic battle. Yeah. That's pretty good, huh? Yep. So maybe someday Torch is out there fighting for us right now, trying yeah. to get rid of this cold weather. Well, let's hope. And uh, anyway, when Torch went back to her village, she went to look for her grandfather and couldn't find him. He was missing. He's gone. We don't know what happened to him. Maybe we'll find out later. But all she found was this lucky horseshoe, his lucky flaming horseshoe. Okay? So now, now that she's a Skylander, she takes that lucky horseshoe wherever she goes and but hopes to find her grandfather. But not a trap master. No, she's not a trap master. She's just a core Skylander. But that's okay. She is very useful and very helpful, especially when it comes to fire. So, what do you like about her, buddy? Uh, Let's take a close look at her. Her has the weird glove thing on. She's got some weird gloves. Yep, those are like her leather. Has a baby little chain on her gloves. Yep, a little chain or something there. It's really hard to see. That's uh. Name is that's, purple. You know, those purple. are the gloves that they wear when you deal with hot irons and hot things. Because those are like flame-resistant gloves. Huh? Why do you think she wears flame-resistant gloves? Um, maybe to blot enemies. Well, maybe. how about because she's holding a very hot flamethrower? Yeah. Yeah. The flamethrower is super hot, so she needs these thick gloves to keep herself protected. And her, maybe you don't want to take them off. Yeah, she probably doesn't take them off too much. So, she has a flamethrower, so we know she'll have a flamethrower attack. And it comes out of this. We hear yep. a bloody gun scene. Yep. There we, it it comes with a blast really right there. Yep. She is a pretty small figure. She's really skinny. She has really you small arms. play with her. Yeah, you might want to be a little more careful with her than some others. Um... Because she is a little brittle feeling. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, she's a humanoid looking, human looking figure. So she's not one of these other crazy uh, creatures. And she's pretty basic in that way. She does have this f cool flaming hair though. You like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty but cool. But you definitely don't want to play with her too much. Yeah, outside of the game. Uh. Yeah. Well, how about we take a look at her in the game and see what her moves are like. You want to do that? Yeah. All right, let's take her in the game. Um, spoiler, she's got basically one move. I mean, she has more, but the one move she has that we built up is pretty powerful. So let's take a look at her and see what Torch can do. We'll be right back. All right, Lias and I are back with Torch on the Portal. We are all set to take on the Chaos Doom Challenge so we can show you some of her moves. Are you ready to go, buddy? Yes! All right, buddy, go ahead and start the Doom Challenge. Uh... All right, now as Chaos starts blabbering, uh, I will tell you a little bit about Torch's attacks. There she is. Um, she basically has one main attack, at least 
for our version of Torch because we cho chose the Forged in Flames upgrade path. That upgrade path uh, increases her, her flamethrower attacks even more. So basically, our version of Torch is a flamethrowing, attacking, massive damage dealing Skylander. Are you ready, bud? Yep. Alright, so go ahead and start the wave. wave. And the first attack that she has is called Blazing Bellows. All you have to do is hold down the X button. Oh, after Chaos Blowers now. Uh, all you will have to do is hold down the X button to roast enemies with your flamethrower attack. Now we're going to see a lot of upgrades to that flamethrower though. It's not the same as it used to be. Yeah, that's pretty much... It used to be that and only that, kind of. But uh, go ahead, hold it down, do whatever. And you'll notice how it turns blue. That's an upgrade. You also notice how there's two barrels of flames coming out. Go oh, shoot shit. those guys. No, shoot them with the flamethrower, honey. You see the two barrels coming out? That is another upgrade we have. So let's go over the upgrades that we've put on the Blazing Bellows. The first upgrade is called Heating Up, and it allows the Blazing Bellows attack to shoot further and do extra damage. That's, whoa, rumble. That's, um, you know, pretty basic upgrade attack, just to do more damage. Then we have the blue flame upgrade. Now if you hold attack one for a little longer, the flames will turn blue doing extra damage. You saw that right there. You also notice how the blue flame goes right through the enemies, where the red flame does not. So, yep. As Lias takes care of these guys down here, boom, the blue flame goes right through them. Uh, the double barrel bellows is the final upgrade in the Forged in Flames upgrade path. And that just gives you two bigger uh, bellows of flames coming out instead of one. And let's also talk about the Scorched Earth policy, which is also part of the Forged in Flames upgrade path. Now, go ahead and start the way, buddy. Now when you see, uh, when you see the flamethrower, say, move, like if Elias were to spin around in a circle, you'll notice that the flame, especially the blue flame, leaves bits of fire on the ground. So those little bits of fire on the ground can burn enemies even more who walk in it or who uh, happen to be near those burning bits of flame. So go ahead and show that. You can see the flame kind of just sit there on the ground and, and kind of keeps going straight even though it's not in the stream anymore. That's part of the Scorched Earth policy upgrade. So Elias is defending this chest this time by just spinning the flame and leaving the ground on fire. It's pretty powerful. Yep. Now some of the other Skylanders have had moves like this, like Guild Grunt. He had a water attack that you could just uh, shoot and think hot or uh, a couple of the Swap Force guys had flaming breath or something like that, and Spyro shoots flames. All kind of similar. However, I, this is the first character I remember where you can just hold that button down forever, basically. There's no time, no time out for the flamethrower attack. So that makes it pretty devastating, as you can see Lias here just not letting anyone attack. Alright, good job with the flamethrower, buddy. Well, we do have to talk about Torch's other attacks. She does have a couple other attacks, and they'll be a little bit useful in the beginning before she gets, um, yeah, before she gets all powered up. The first attack, extra attack we'll talk about is her second attack called Flaming Horseshoes. This is her basic ranged attack that she has uh, from the beginning where she can throw a flaming horseshoe that'll stick to an enemy. So this is a basic range attack. Um, you can go ahead and try to throw it at some of these grenades, but it doesn't really work well against little enemies because it's such a big horseshoe. As you notice, most of the grenades got away. 
so go flame kill those guys. Wait for the bigger enemies, because what happens with the bigger enemies is you'll be able to see that the horseshoe actually sticks to them. Yeah. Like these egg guys, it should stick to those. Throw your horseshoe at them. Now I knocked it down, but it gets up and it's got a horseshoe on its head. Keep throwing a few more. Now as you can see, Lias gets a little bit overrun if you, all he's trying to do is throw a horseshoe. Because there's a lot of enemies. So go ahead and flame them. Torch them. Torch them with torch. There you go. You, know, you once again see how powerful the torch attack is. As he wipes out the remaining enemies right there. Now, she has an upgrade called Flaming Hair Whip. Bias hits the Y button. There you go. That works a little better in, uh, when there's a lot of enemies around. It knocks them all backwards. See that? And we have an upgrade on that um, as part of the Forged in Flames upgrade path called Hairs Getting Long. It makes the Flaming Hair Whip do increased damage with increased range. So in the beginning, I forget how short it stuck around her, but now she can knock away enemies who are... You know, somewhat close. I don't think it's much of an upgrade, but it, it is a more helpful attack than, say, the horseshoe. So that's all of her attacks and upgrade path that we chose. There is another upgrade path called Made of Metal, where you can improve those flaming horseshoe attacks. Uh, I don't think it would be as powerful as this path, but it does sound interesting. Uh, your flaming horseshoes will stick to enemies and do damage over time, which sounds interesting. Uh, the flaming horseshoes will also explode when they're done and they wear off. And you can, the final upgrade will allow you to use a fire attack on the flaming horseshoe, then it'll come to life. Uh, so it'll be a little minion fighting for you after that. Um, I almost would like to see that in action, but unfortunately we didn't choose that path, so... We went for power over uh, interesting moves, I guess. Alright, buddy, go start this last wave because we got one more move this to talk wave. about. Oh, there's more waves, but this is the last wave we'll probably have to do. Wave now, she does have a soul gem attack called the Incinerator. Maximum and firepower. if the flamethrower attack wasn't already powerful enough, now if you rapidly press the X button. It goes blue and then it jumps into this there. Oh, you gotta hold it down after that though. You gotta rapidly hit the X button and then and then hold it down. So rapidly hit it and hold it down and it does three times the damage. So we can see right here with Torch. It takes a little while to uh, actually activate. There it is. But it does three times the damage once activated. I also notice that you lose the double barrel. You lose the blueness. I don't believe it. Let's just see. I don't think it goes through the enemies. Okay, we're gonna find out right now. Is this thing got out? All right. Well, we can take care of that. Well, woo! Let's run out of the way. Get the torch flame going. Okay, now torch it. How long will it last before I die? There we go. So, it's a pretty interesting soul gem move, but. I didn't think of that one. Yeah, it will be more important of a move if you chose the made of metal upgrade path. Um, Here it goes. That'll be your. The only way you'll be able to get a really powerful um, flamethrower attack. But since we have the Forged in Flames attack and a double barrel and extra long, it's not quite as useful to try to rapidly hit the button and, and activate that Soul Gem ability instead of just uh, going around. And you saw Elias on several waves just wipe out the entire wave basically by holding the button down and letting them come to him in front of the chest and then uh, you know defeating everybody in the wave so torch very powerful um, very much one dimensional I, I feel and you know pretty fun do you like playing with torch buddy yeah yeah 
I think, you know, there are maybe some other Skylanders that are more interesting overall, but as far as Fire Skylander goes, she's she has uh, some good power. I think she also is a really good Skylander for the younger Skylander fans out there. Because all, all you have to do is hold down one yeah. button, so that's pretty easy. Got anything else you want to say, add, bud? No. All right then. Well, that was our look at Torch. Uh, visit us at SkylanderNuts.com and check out our written review and our score. And until next time, we'll come back with another uh, Skylander character review. Uh, hopefully, my voice will be better next week, and maybe Lys and I won't be a sick, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Until next week, we'll see you later. Keep playing Skylanders and keep having fun. Bye.